Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I want to welcome you to my workout of the day. I hope you guys are ready to work out with me. So our format is a little bit different today. We're going to do a five minute warm up. Then we're going to have a section that is the, the workout where we're going to get full intensity and we're going to end with a cool down. So I hope you guys are ready. Let me know what you think of the new format. If it helps you, if you prefer the more concise workouts, comment and I will look for your responses. Okay, so for the warm up, I have my interval timer set for five rounds of 10 seconds prep and 50 seconds of warm up. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna just prep. Our first exercise is gonna be a march in place. So we have one second, there we go. So we're going to keep our shoulders still and we're gonna drive our knees as close to our chest as we can. So I'll show you from the side. Arms can move, belly pulls in tight. Good job, guys. So really activate that core. Don't bend your upper body to meet it, you're just moving the legs. So our goal for this five minutes is to get our heart rate up Get our blood pumping and get everything warm so we're ready to go. Good job, guys. Doing great. Almost there, hopefully you're starting to feel nice and warm. Okay, 10 seconds, then we're going into jumping jacks. I'm gonna angle myself so I don't step on the cat. Gambit, our um, motivated mascot. So feet jump out, arms reach up. Core still stays strong. Doing good, guys. Keep that belly pulled in. Good job. Keep yourself moving. Almost there, five seconds. Okay, next we're gonna be on the mat for a slow mountain climber. So we're gonna be in plank position and we're gonna drive our knees toward our shoulders. But instead of doing it really quickly like we normally do, we're gonna real slow and controlled, bring that knee as far forward as you can get it, keeping the core engaged. Gambit's totally fine with this. Good job, guys. Belly pulled in toward your back. Squeeze. Squeeze every time that knee comes forward. Good job. Next, we're gonna have ropeless jumping. So we're gonna pretend we have a jump rope. We're going to move our arms and jump our feet up. Here we go. Again, belly pulls in. Like I said, getting our heart rates up. Good job. Belly pulls in. Doing great, guys. Almost there. Okay, next we're gonna have high knees. So we're gonna run in place, driving our knees up, kind of like we did in that high knees march. 
If this is too high impact for you, you can go back to that high knees march. Otherwise, run in place, try and get those knees to hip height. Belly still pulls in, core is strong. Good job, guys. Doing fantastic. Okay, guys. That's our warm up. Um, so, grab a drink of water if you want to, and then we're moving right on to the next section, the workout. Okay, guys, we're ready for the workout. So, I have my interval timer set for 10 rounds of 30 seconds cardio, 50 seconds maximum repetitions. For cardio, I'm gonna be doing high knees, so the same running in place. You can choose to do jumping jacks, burpees, um, lunge jumps, jump rope, whatever you want for your cardio burst. Now your cardio burst is gonna last for 30 full seconds. Before it's over, I'm gonna start demonstrating the next exercise so you know what we're going into. Another thing we're trying new to see if it makes your being able to follow along with the videos easier. So let me know in the comments if it helps you guys. Okay guys, let's get right into it. So my timer has a 10 second prep um, and then it'll be the 30 seconds of cardio to start with. Here we go. So cardio, like I said, I choose high knees. For the next exercise, we're gonna be down on the mat. We're gonna do an up, down dog. So you can do it like a dive bomber with the push-up arms if you wanna make it harder, or you can just alternate between up dog and down dog. Keep doing your cardio, I'm just demonstrating. So down dog to up dog. Down dog to up dog. Okay, get into it guys. Timer went off, so now it's up dog, down dog time. Stretch the front of the abs. Lift the hips to the ceiling when you do your down dog. Heels drop to the floor. Belly stretches. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Core strong and engaged. Good job. 10 seconds left. And then we're back to our cardio. Okay, cardio burst. Whatever your cardio you choose. We're gonna be down in the down dog position again for the next one. We're gonna do a down dog split with our right leg. Keep going with your cardio, I'm demonstrating. So we're gonna do down dog split, one leg up, and we're going to heel pulse. Bend the knee, push it out to the side, pulse. Pulse and bend, pulse and bend. Time to go guys, good job. Up and press, up and press. So toward the ceiling, sidewall, ceiling, sidewall. Try and keep that back lat throughout the motion. Good job. Doing great. Fifteen seconds. Press. Working all those butt muscles. Five seconds. Good job, cardio burst. Doing great. So same thing to the other side. I'm not gonna demonstrate it this time because you guys just did it. So same thing, left leg. Just 
Doing great, guys. Okay, other side. Down dog split, left leg lifts, press. Lift, press. Core strong. Lift, press. Lift, press. Belly in. Ten seconds. Heel, press. Heel, press. Heart in reverse. Quick transition, guys. Okay, we're gonna have goddess squat heel pulse. So we're gonna step wide into goddess squat. Keep going with your cardio. Tailbone tucks under, chest stays lifted. We're gonna alternate pulsing and lifting our heels. Almost done with your cardio, keep going. Now time for goddess squat. Heel press, pulse. Nice and low, knees pressing toward the wall behind you. Tailbone tucked under, so your hip bones are right below your ribs. No booty popping. Good job, guys. Doing great. Warrior three floor tap is next. Keep going with your cardio. Right leg's gonna extend first. Belly strong. We're going to extend, bend the standing knee, tap the floor, lift, extend, bend and tap. Okay, keep going into it, guys. Knee facing the ground. Whoop. If you need a chair to hold on to here for balance, you can do it that way. Extend, straight line. Tap and touch. Press up and lift. Good job, guys. Belly strong. Push through that standing leg heel to push back up. Cardio. Doing great. So again, we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm not going to demonstrate that left leg extends this time. Breathe. Doing good, guys. Okay, left leg extends. Knee faces the ground, straight line. Bend, tap, belly strong. Push through that standing heel to lift. Good job, guys. You're doing great. Cardio. 
Okay, next we're gonna have a side plank reach through. So I'm gonna start on my right side. You can do it on an extended arm or on your forearm. Keep going with your cardio. Hand or elbow if you're on your forearm. It's directly below your shoulder for the next exercise. Arm reaches up and then through and under as far behind you as you can. Back up. Good job, guys. Find your balance. Use those belly muscles. Stack the shoulders as you reach up. Good job. Doing great, guys. Check that your hand's below your shoulder. Readjust if you need to. Five seconds. Cardio. And then same thing on the other side. So left side plank this time. You've got this guys, you're doing great. Three seconds, left side plank. Hand or elbow below your shoulder. Reach it through and up. Good job, guys. Belly pulls in. Tap under that arm. Fifteen seconds. Good job, guys. Almost there. Four seconds. Cardio. Okay. We're gonna be back down on the mat again for the next one. Reverse plank leg lift. Good job, guys. Keep doing your cardio. I'm demonstrating fingertips point toward your feet, hands below your shoulders, hips stay high. Try and hold your reverse plank leg lift. So in the leg lift, what you want to try not to do is don't drop your hips and lift. You're going to keep the hips high in reverse plank the whole time. Belly muscles strong and pulled in, supporting your movement. Check that you're in that reverse plank in between each leg lift. Hips press up and pulse, pulse, pulse. Good job, guys. Belly presses up. Almost there. Four seconds. Reverse plank, cardio. Just one more move after this. Knees high. We're gonna do a Spider-Man plank. Okay guys, keep going with your cardio. So back to plank position. Knees come sideways to touch your elbow. Alternating sides. Belly stay strong, hands stay below your shoulders, go. Good job. Almost there. So last exercise before the cool down. You got this. Ten.
10 seconds. Belly pulls in strong. Hold your plank if you have to. Good job, guys. Okay, grab a sip of water and start marching in place. We're ready to move on to our cool down. Okay, guys, time for the cool down. Hopefully I'm not the only one sweaty. <laughs> I'm dripping. Um, so our cool down, I have 10 seconds of rest in between and then a minute for each stretch. So we're gonna get started with the timer. Um, we're gonna start with the marching in place. So even though we're in the cool down, I'd like you to do that just to start returning your heart rate to normal. Keep going. So we're gonna do this for a minute and you can slowly start letting your legs come down a little bit lower because our goal in this part is to let our heart rate slow down and then we're gonna do some static stretching. Everyone did a really good job making it this far. So again, just moving. Kind of take stock of where you are. See if you're starting to feel more normal. Breathing's calmed down or calming down. We're gonna go into a side angle stretch for the next one. 10 more seconds of marching. Good job, guys. So for the next stretch, we're gonna come into a side angle. So toe, one toe is gonna to point forward, the other toe, foot is perpendicular. We're gonna bend into that front knee. Elbow comes onto your knee or onto your thigh. You're gonna stretch up and over. So shoulders are stacked one on top of the other. Eyes are looking up toward your hand. You can either keep your hand straight up or stretched out to the side. And I want you to try and feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Knees pressing open, just like it did in that goddess pulse that we did. Belly pulls in. Breathe. Good job, guys. Sink into it a little more if you can to get that stretch. Good job. 10 seconds. Doing great, guys. Okay, you have 10 seconds to rest. We're gonna go into a reverse warrior, a peaceful warrior. Hand is gonna go behind your back. Other arm is gonna stretch up and over, and we're gonna still lean into the side. So you wanna feel the stretch through this whole side of your body. If you're more comfortable, you can reach down the back leg with your hand. Breathe. You can look up toward your inner elbow or toward your hand if you want to. Just focus on stretching the obliques. Good job, guys. So we're really holding these stretches which can make um, the strength part still be a bit of a challenge. You're doing great. We're gonna do these two stretches on the other side next. Last five seconds. Good job, so turn that Edge of the foot perpendicular, left foot points forward this time. We're gonna go into our side angle stretch, so we're gonna bend into that front thigh, elbow on the thigh, stretching up and over. Shoulders stacked, try and feel the stretch through that side of your body. Good job, guys. Doing great. Stretch a little deeper into it if you can. 
Almost there. 15 seconds. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna go into the reverse. So again, front leg's gonna stay bent, arm comes behind your back, stretching up and over, stretching the other side of the body. Good job, guys. Trying to feel the stretch in the side of the body. Sink into that front leg if you can. Shoulders stack. Almost there. Good job, guys. 15 seconds. Two more stretches after this. Forward fold is next. Shake it out. Okay, guys, belly in. We're just gonna reach toward our toes, however far you can reach. If you can touch them, great. If you can't touch them, that's fine too. Feel the stretch, but don't hurt yourself. Let your head and neck release down toward the floor. Try and press the knees backward to straighten the legs. If that's really uncomfortable, you can have a slight bend in the legs. But we are trying to stretch this side. Breathe. And with the inhale, Relax with the exhale. Try and go just a little bit deeper into your stretch. Good job, guys. Doing great. Last few seconds. Okay, final stretch. So we did the sides of the body, the back of the body. We're gonna do a standing slight back bend. So you can either stretch your hands up overhead, or if that's uncomfortable, put your hands under your back to support and then stretch backwards. Belly pulls in, gentle stretch. If it becomes too much at any time, gently lift, shake it out if you need to. And then go back into it. Good job. Shoulders pressing away from the ears. Breathe. Ten seconds. Good job, guys. Okay, that was our workout for today. Um, full warm up workout plus cool down. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought of the format changes. Um, comment. Let me know if it was helpful to you. Let me know if you like doing all of your cardio bursts with me or if you liked seeing what exercise was going to be next. Let me know in the comments. I know I just said that like 10 times in a row. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got excited. <laughs> Uh, as always, the workout breakdown will be free on my website, benderfitness.com, along with over 700 other workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. And if you guys are able to help us stay sustainable, go to patreon.com slash benderfitness to make a donation. Every penny helps. Okay, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.